Hi everyone! In January this year I reached 100,000 subscribers. And as you may or may not know, once you reach that milestone you get rewarded with the silver play button. But today, October 24th, I still have... Wait a minute... Hmm, a package. What's the sender? Who sent this? To Paul Davids, yes that's me. It's from YouTube. Ooh. You've just done something that very few YouTube creators accomplish. You had an astonishing 100,000 people subscribe to your channel. Each and every person who has subscribed to your channel has been touched by what you created. They were inspired, challenged or entertained. A million subscribers may seem a long way off right now, but you're closer than you think. Oh my god. Paul Davids, congratulations for surpassing 100,000 subscribers. Woo! It's truly so amazing. It feels good to have something in my hand instead of reading something in an email from YouTube. So I'm very grateful to my subscribers and I'm very happy with the growing quality and content of my videos. I'm sure I couldn't and wouldn't have done it without you. So, to give something back to you, I decided to do a guitar lesson of Who Says by John Mayer. Because that's probably the most requested thing in my comment section. Have fun! Hi, today we'll be sharing with you how I play the song Who Says by John Mayer. And I have to admit, I had to look up the song again, because after a few years you tend to make stuff up your own. So, here is the song, how he plays it on the studio album. So I also checked out a few live videos of him playing it and there he changes everything around a little bit. So don't be too precise playing this song. Just play the chords, the general picking patterns, make sure it sounds fluently, then you got it down. So I will only be demonstrating the first verse and the first chorus, but I also transcribed the second verse and the second chorus of which you can find PDF files and guitar profiles on my Patreon page. So before we start, I'd like to point out that I made one entire video about his right hand technique where I used the slapping thumb technique. And this is the key to that particular technique. So if you haven't seen that, please check it out so we can uh, continue to the song instead of explaining how precisely you play this technique. So the first chord is a D sus2 chord. And we're gonna play the same picking pattern over and over again, just using different strings. So check the tab for the strings needed. And I'm gonna play it slowly so you can hear what you play and combine it with how I play and see it matches. All right, so the first chord is a D sus2 chord where you play a D chord, but just omitting the middle finger, making it a D sus2. We start off playing the D string and the B string with our middle finger and our thumb. Then we do a slap with our index finger on the G string. And the slap is always one string above the bass note you play. So if you play the D bass note, you slap between the A and the D string. And whilst doing the slap, you flick your index finger on the third string, creating a note and a slap simultaneously. And that is what we want to get. So after the slap, you immediately use your middle finger on the first string, the high E string, to play the E. John only uses his index finger, but I see absolutely no reason to not use your middle finger. So if you want to use this technique more versatile, please just use your middle finger as well. Now we continue with the bass note, the D, followed by our index finger playing a regular pluck and then our index finger using the slap on the B string. So the first bar in total sounds like this. So playing this bar correctly is probably around 90% of learning the entire song. Because if you got this technique down, you can just transfer this technique to every chord played. So the first chord, a D sus2, and then we go to a little alternating picking pattern. So now we go to the second bar, which is played with a G chord, and then a D over F sharp. 
which I like to fretten my thumb on the F sharp, but you can also use this fingering. So we do the slap on the sixth, and our index finger is on the third. And then we go to the D over F sharp, and our index finger flicks to third again, making it a D over F sharp. So the first two bars in total. Very nice. The next chord is an E minor 7. Check out the fingering, it's like this. The D over here making it a minor 7 chord. So we start off on the E string and the B string. So the picking pattern is exactly the same as in the first chord, only we use a different set of strings. Now we go to the A chord, which is the same picking pattern as bar 2. So it's always these two, these two picking patterns. A, and then to B flat or A sharp uh, diminished. So the E chord is played like this, the 5th and 2nd string, slap, and then the B flat diminished is played like this, fret 1, fret 2, fret 0, and fret 2. A very interesting chord, which can be used as a transitioning chord between the A and to B minor. Which is used a lot. So. Um, very nice. So now we got that down, we go to the fifth bar, which is a B minor seven, where we do a little trick. We hammer on on the second string with our middle finger from our barred fret two. And then we do a slap on the minor seven, which is fret two, the third string. So. Then we play the second string again with our middle finger, followed by a thumb, index and a slap on the third string. Very nice. Now we go to an E7 chord. So we play the sixth and the third string, the E and the G, followed by a D, an open D string, which is the seven of an E7. Now we play the first string, and then a D string again and a G string again. So just look at the tab for the exact notes. So the B minor and the E7 chord in succession sounds like this. Very good. Now we go to a little turnaround. G, A and D. So the G is played like this. And then A. And then back to D sus2, which is played exactly the same as the first bar. Twice. I'm gonna play the verse one time for you, slowly and one time up to speed. That's the verse. We play that two times, then we go to the chorus. So the chorus is a little bit a different progression. It starts off with a G chord. And now we change the picking pattern around just a little bit. The theory stays the same, but the execution is a little bit different. So uh, we start off on the sixth and the second string, the E and the B. Then we do a slap on the D string, and our middle finger plays the G string. Play the bottom string again, the low E, followed by the B string, 
and a slap on the G string. So this sounds a little different, listen. So the highest note is played at a different point in the bar. Now we do the exact same picking pattern at a D over F sharp chord. Very nice. So now we go to an A chord and this is where it gets tricky. He's gonna play some licks at the end of this bar. So we play uh, the A string and the B string, a slap whilst playing the D string with your index finger, followed by the G string with your middle finger, back to the bass note. And now we're gonna play an A sus4, back to the slap, and then back to A major. So A sus4 is your ring finger on fret 3 of the B string. So it's slowly. That's the first bar of the A chord. The second bar of the A chord is the second part of the lick. We go to a bass note, then a pull off on the G string from fret 4 to fret 2. And whilst you pull off, you do the slap too. And right after the slap, you play the same note again. Followed by the bass note, the second string again, followed by a slap. That note is between brackets because you can't hear it very good. So it's there probably, but not very present. Alrighty. I'm gonna play the first four bars of the chorus slowly. Very good. So bar 14, bar 4 of the chorus is the same as the first bar. And the second bar is the same too. So G, D over F sharp, A, it's, the beginning is the same. And now he plays a little lick, it goes like this. So it's 3 and 2 on the B string, 4 and 2 on the G string, and then an E on the D string. So it sounds like this. But when you do the pull off from D to C sharp, you also make sure you do a slap. That's a lot of moves simultaneously, so please get that into your system. And then we play fret 4 on the G string, also a pull off, and when you do the pull off, you also hit the A bass note with your thumb, which is the first note of the 17th bar. <clears throat> Very good. And now we play the D string with our index finger up, and then a slap, and our index finger on the G string. Now we play our middle finger on the B string, our thumb on the A string. Now the B string goes to fret 3 and the G string is a slap fret 2. Very good. Very lovely. So if you have too much trouble playing this lick whilst playing the slapping and the bass notes, you can just omit these so it sounds like this. That sounds good too. All right, so the last part of the chorus is again the G, the first bar, the D over F sharp. And now we go to the B flat diminished or A sharp diminished. B minor 7 with a little addition. The fourth note is the high E string. So if we do um, the B string and the A string. Hammer on on the D from C sharp to D. Slap on the minor 7, fret 2 on the G string. 
and then the fifth fret two on the first string the bass note fret two on the G string and a slap on fret four on the D string very nice so then we go to an E minor seven which is stretched out over two bars sounding like this slowly once again just an E minor chord and then we go to A A sus4 and then an A sus4 chord played all the way from the bottom So let me play the chorus one time in total for you guys. So I want to play it correctly so I have the sheet music with me. <laughs> because if I play it out of my head, I always change it up a little bit, but here it is. D. Well, you know how it goes. So, this was a tutorial. Uh, now it's time for you to practice because that's the only way to get the song down properly. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and if you got questions, let me know in the comment section. And thank you for watching, it means a lot. Thank you again for subscribing, everything. Let's get to a million. Yeah. Uh, bye. Cheers. Cheers.